There we go. Oh, wow. There we go. Fish fish on in all the muck. Fish on in all the muck. There we go. Alright, hopefully he stays on. There's a lot of there's a lot of debris over there that I think he just ran into. Oh uh, man. We're gonna knock this down a bit. Two clicks. There's I, I'm playing with fire. Oh, oh, head shakes, head shakes, head shakes. Oh, this is the single hook one, so the chances of him getting tangled up are pretty slim. Uh, I'm playing with fire here because there's a lot of structure to my right, and I'm having my rods go essentially right through that structure. This is the rod I just rebaited. So hopefully, hopefully I get him in here, not wrapped around that rod. He feels decent. I, I, I killed the motor. Granted, the, oh, oh, gravel, gravel, gravel. Now that's two hits back to back right here. We're going to mark this. We might reel everything up and come back through here. Actually, yeah, we're going to spot lock this. We're going to, uh, we're going to rebate the two left poles and come right back through here. That's two hits back to back, so. Might as well. And this is why running planers can be so crucial. Uh, a lot of times I don't because I'm lazy and I regret it. But a lot of times those days fish are really active. Um, there we go. That's not a bad blue. It's a fat one. But sometimes like today when they're, you know, a little more muddy. And they're not really on the move as much. Spreading your baits can be the difference between having a really good day like I am today and and not having a good day oh he's actually huh he is a lot better than I'm giving him credit for oh, there we go We got, this is the second time this happened today where as we're reeling in a fish, we spot lock. And now we got another fish on. Yeah, we're definitely gonna come through here again. They seem to be on this side. There is a lot of structure over there. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna risk it and go much closer than I am now. Oh, 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 oh. This is the channel. <laughs> this is the double hook rig for the channel cats. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll finally have my first channel today. We're here, uh, we're dragging the Ohio River. We're going about 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Current over here is, um, I'd say 0 0.6 to 0.8 now. Uh, maybe a little faster. Uh, the current on the other side of the river is essentially non-existent. Earlier I was suspending uh, live baits, which I have cut up since. And now I'm using them as cut bait. So let's see here. Let's see what we got. This is my third double of the day. I might put these two fish in the little Miami video because I only got two fish in that video and I'm using the same technique, so. I might, uh, I might not use every single fish that I caught today in one video. Cause I'll be honest, I've, uh, I've, been, I've been fishing like crap recently. So <laughs> the more content I can get out of more fish, the better. Coming to the top. Now they do feel a little better up here. So where I'm at, it's kind of, how do I explain it? Whatever current you think you have in Cincinnati, add a little bit and the undertow here is actually considerably stronger. 
So even if it's only going one mile an hour here, there's a lot of times where you can't even drag with like a six ounce weight because for whatever reason, the undertow just pulls everything right off. You don't feel too bad. Granted, the last fish didn't feel too bad either and he was pretty small. I think I'm just starting to get a little tired. I think that's what's going on. Now I move that float up to get that bait closer to the bottom. And the two rods right behind me, this one and the other one, they are on my channel cat setting or chat setups. Five odds and everything, so. Let's see. I mean, he's fighting like a channel cat. Whoa, no, 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 no way. I have a double. I have a double. Can you guys see that? I have a double. I, I have a double. I have a flathead and a blue cat. I hope. I have a flathead and a blue cat. Unless the, oh my God. And they're on different hooks. That is a good flathead. I want the flathead more than the blue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is too cool. So a double of a blue and a flathead is rare, very rare. Normally you can't catch flatheads the same way you catch blues when you're, when you're targeting blues. To double up on the same exact hook, or on the same exact rod, I kind of want, I want to, I'm going to put this, I'm going to try and get the camera angle down on the fish just in case one pops free so you guys can see it. This is, this is nuts. This is insane. Actually, my leader's so small, I might not be able to do this. All right, I'm asking, <laughs> I'm asking to get a hook in the, in the leg. This is a good flathead too, guys. All right, so I hope you guys can see. This was on the, um, the head, the white bass headpiece. All right. All right. We're gonna get rid of this little blue cat. See you later, bud. And now, and there we go. Oh. And then there's, there's flat. That's a good flathead too, man. That's a very good flathead. I got no complaints with that. All right, we're getting him out. We're gonna get him out of here. Second of the double. That's too cool. Ooh, that's a good hit. Is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Oh, come on, stay on. On the planter board. Planter boards are getting the majority of the action now. I don't need my light, my light yet, but. We're gonna see how he is first before we go and get the net ready. The last fish I had on, I went and got the net ready. And as I was getting the net ready, he popped off. Ooh, unraveling, unraveling. This is only a single hook rig. And this, this is a big crappie head too. This is actually a, a good sized crappie head. Fish feels good. But the current, the, the closer I get to the bridge, the 275 bridge up here, um, the stronger the current gets. So that current can be uh, very deceiving. I mean, it's it's still not going hard. Like we're talking tops, one mile an hour current, like absolute tops. Maybe not even that. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna boop, drop, it, drop it down too. If he's hooked well, not that big of a deal. If he's not hooked well though, might be in trouble. Now, now's the time where you gotta make up the BS. Um, also, so my outside rods also have big baits. Uh, I'm essentially spot locked great. Uh, I 
don't want my night to be over yet, but I'd be willing to bet all my lines just tangled. Once you start going the opposite direction and you're dragging, there's a good chance all your lines just tangled because, especially when you're using braid, the braid will go back over your lines and if you're, especially me using double hook rigs. I mean, he seems, he feels decent. But I'm also tired. One of those few days where I've caught double digit fish again. Haven't had one of these in literally in months. All right, let's see here. There's our weight, there's our dragon weight. There's bubbles. He's not a bad fish. No world beater, but he's not a bad fish. He's right at that point where I probably shouldn't boat flip him. But we're gonna do it anyway, because we're dumb. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he, he, he should not have been boat flipped. He's way too big for a boat flip. <laughs> Come back up through here and drag through here. There we go, that's, that's a good, ow, oh, oh, I need my thumb, homie. I need my thumb for Tuesday. Oh, oh, oh. There's. I need my thumb for Tuesday. Oh, oh, oh. There's. There we go. There's our double. This is the. Oh. This is the third time this has happened. Or fourth time this has happened tonight. So we, uh, we're dragging, dragging, dragging. We land a fish. And then, uh, while we're on spot lock, we get a double. All right. Now this is um, this is my channel cat rig. So this is two five lots. There's, I mean, I got really good marks underneath me though. I'm excited to come back through here. We got schools of fish coming through here as well. Yeah, this is this is loaded right here right now. Uh, I am using five lot diachis on on my channel. This is the channel cat rig. Um, five lot diachis are essentially a seven odd uh, mustad demon fine wire. So it's really not a small hook. It's not just not a hook I would ever suggest if you were out there like truly trophy catfishing. Yeah, we got schools of fish busting everywhere. Come on. I'm, I'm out of cliche things to say. All I know is that I should be able to get two videos out of this. One video I'll put the big fish in, and then the other video I'll put uh, that double in. Now this doesn't have a planter board, so I I just gotta look at him. I think he's pretty good. I actually do think he's pretty good. No, ah, uh, he's he's cookie cutter. He's just a, he's essentially the same size as the last one, a little smaller. Uh, big shout out to my buddy Mark Bennett. He's the one who hooked me up with uh, another wiper. A wiper is uh, the the wiper head is what caught this one. And this is my experimental rig paying dividends again. I'll show you guys what I mean by my experimental rig uh, here in a second. This might be the second time I've said this in this video, but uh, I'll show you the rig here in a second. I was hoping this rig would work and it's, it's, it's doing the job. It's caught uh, quite a few fish today. There we go, there's our blue cat. Very pleased. Days like today really aren't that common where I live, so I'm soaking it in as much as I can. But here's the experimental rig that I'm, I'm gonna show you. So today, when I started dragging, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was, my last few months of fishing have been so bad, so I said, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna throw my channel cat lines out. These are the rigs I use when I'm fishing channel cat legs. And I was like, if they catch fish, cool. If they don't catch fish, I was just going to go home like in an hour or two. Well, it's your, you know, general, your normal double hook rig that I, I use. Oh, that scared me. There's your dropper nut. And then up to here, here's what making this one special. So, this is like a, a double. So, I got three hooks technically on this rig. This right here 
I have a lot of issues when I'm fishing my channel cat lakes with these little little pecks and they run away, little peck run away at the bottom of the bait. So this is just like your normal old double hook rig for like a single bait, but I, on a much smaller scale. Because of what I was gonna do was when I use, I usually use uh, vertical, like thinner vertical sections of shad when I'm channel cat fishing. I was gonna have one hook out the stomach or out the belly, and I was gonna have the other hook at the top. Uh, because, you know, even big fish, they decide to snack every now and then. So I, I was getting frustrated that I was losing potential fish. Um, but yeah, this this clearly works, and I'll you know I'll just show you guys how I hook it. I'm not gonna take that one out because that you know sometimes it's a pain to get them. That's where the farther away hook is, and then the closer hook I am just hooking through the nostril like you normally would. Also, another cool thing is I have a hook facing both directions. If a fish comes up and hits this either way, I there's a better chance of me having a hook set on both sides of the bait so and then this bait didn't come off I might as well send it back down there I mean you know what my night's almost over I might as well change it all right so I just realized I always have my flag with me my flag has my 360 light I forgot that um, I left that in the Jeep for some reason. Don't know why I took it off. I really don't. I never take it out of the kayak. That's one of the beautiful things about this NAR. Uh, you can leave essentially everything in the NAR, trip to trip to trip. It's it's awesome. I just throw my cover on and then I go on my way. But I'm out of here. Uh, today's trip was awesome. I'm probably going to make two videos out of it just because fishing has been so bad for me recently. Uh, and not bad for me. I have been so bad at fishing recently. I need as much content as I can get. So I don't know which video this is you're watching. I will put the double hook double in one video and I'll put the double of the two big fish in another video. All right, Kayak Mike out of here.